So good evening, everybody. Oh, I nearly can't catch my breath there. So this evening we have uh, yoga with Vanessa. Um, again, we're going to be working on the uh, hormonal health and balancing the hormones, the endocrine system, and really supporting the stress uh, response um, to be reduced in the body. So again, um, over to Vanessa, she is going to maybe just even tell us a little bit about it, or she's going to just go through it with us there. So over to you, Vanessa. Thank you, Michelle, for that lovely introduction. So hello there, I'm Vanessa. And thank you for joining me and Michelle for tonight's yin practice. It'll be short and sweet. So we're going to take a look at all the meridians that help our digestive system work a little bit better. So the liver and gallbladder, the stomach and spleen, and the large and small intestine. So a couple of props that you'll need for this practice, if you'd like, is to have a blanket or a beach towel or if you have a bolster, great. If you don't, you can use a couple of pillows off your bed or a couple of throw pillows. I'm just using one big pillow here off my bed. And we'll use these for a couple of poses later on in the practice. So first let's start by settling into the space, our bodies and this practice with a three part breath. So let's take our palms to our knees. We can sit crisscross shins in front of the other and deeply breathe into the belly, allowing the breath to expand the lungs, stretch out the collarbones, and fill the brain with fresh new oxygen. Then exhale to release from the head, down the chest, and to the belly. So we'll do this two more times, inhaling from the belly, chest, head, and exhaling from the head to the chest, to the belly. One more deep breath, inhale, Exhale. So for tonight's practice, we're gonna start in deer pose. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in butterfly. So our heels come together, knees wide apart. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that right foot out to the right side. Let me move this pillow here so you can see. Now, depending on how your hip flexors are feeling, you can have that right leg facing at a 90 degree angle, or we can have it facing back foot against the floor, whichever feels comfortable for you. And the left leg again is going to be at a 90 degree angle as well. So find your comfort zone here, but go ahead and bring yourself to the center, sit up nice and tall and relax into these muscles, soften with each breath, soften your gaze, and again, soften your breath. Bring yourself back to your practice, back to this present moment. So in the end, we want to find only two thirds of our maximum capacity in a specific pose. So we're going to hold these poses for quite a bit longer to see how that feels. We're focused on connective tissues ligaments, joints, and bones, not on muscles. So if you feel your muscles engaging, please release and relax any tension. Soften it out with each breath. Breathe into our connective tissues and allow yourself to relax. Smooth your breath out and begin to extend your exhale a bit longer than your inhale, maybe two, three, or four counts longer. This will allow your body to settle in, reset into a digest mode, which is our healing mode. A few more deep breaths in this posture. Really feel your breath sending energy inside your right hip. So a few 
One more deep breath here. So inhale. We'll exhale and we'll lean a bit over to the left, bringing that right foot back into butterfly pose. So we're gonna wave our feet a few times, our knees up and down, just again to reset that spine and feel that energy coming through that right hip flexor. So after a few of us flapping our wings, we're going to go ahead and take that left foot, extend it out to the left side. Remember right foot is at a 90 degree angle, perpendicular. The left foot can either be back in a perpendicular angle, 90 degrees, left foot flexing to the front, or we can also bring that left knee back, foot facing, leaning against the floor. Whichever feels best for you. Remember, we're going to sit up nice and tall, spine straight, breathing into our lower back, but most importantly, breathing in, balancing out that left hip flexor now. Notice the difference between each leg. Settle into your breath and allow that breath to release any muscle tension in the outside leg and into the hip flexors. Remember to soften your gaze and soften your breath. Few more deep breaths in this posture. One more deep breath in. And exhale. So let's go ahead, lean over to the right. Bring in that left foot back into butterfly pose and we'll flap our wings slowly three times, just again to reset the spine and feel the energy balance out in our left hip flexor. Now we'll make use of our towel and bolster for a half saddle position. So what we're going to do, towel or blanket, make sure it's folded up. Half saddle position here. So we're going to bring our knees together. Our folded towel is going to be under just above our ankle. Then we're going to take either our bolster and our pillow, bring it back behind us. And what we're going to do is we're going to extend out our right leg straight, left knee bent. And it's okay if in this posture, your left knee comes up a little bit, find your edge. So again, right leg straight, left knee bent, and we're going to slowly lean back onto our pillow. So slowly lean back onto our pillow, right leg straight, left knee bent. And again, it's okay if your left knee comes a little bit up, if you feel like you want to bend the right knee, right knee can bend like this, or again, we can keep the right leg extended, really breathing into this posture. Allow your neck to release and soften. See if you can release the tension in your jaw and shoulders.
Remember to focus on exhaling longer, settling in. Now slowly bring your hands up overhead and bring your palms to grasp opposite elbows. And again, release the neck back, release tension in the jaw and shoulders. Often when we're at our desks, on our laptops, our necks are, necks are all crunched. So allow that release of tension. Few more breaths in this pose. So one more deep breath in. Exhale, inhale, bring your hands down to the floor and slowly bring yourself back up. Lean over to the right side to extend out that bent left knee. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap our meridians, just bringing our fingers and tapping our legs, coming up, bringing blood to our legs, feeling that energy, feeling that release from that compression, rubbing our legs. And now we're going to balance out the opposite side. So we're going to bend that right leg, bring the right ankle just over the towel here. Remember our bolster or our pillow is going to be back behind us. And remember, it's okay if your right knee lifts during this practice when you're leaning back. So left foot straight. If you like the variation where you bend that left knee, remember to find your edge or keep your left leg extended out straight. Slowly lean back into your pillow or bolster. Release tension in the neck and take a few deep breaths here before we bring our arms up overhead. Remember to extend your exhalation. Really settle into this pose. And on your next inhale, bring your arms up overhead. And again, bring your palms to grasp opposite elbows. And again, release the tension in the neck. Few more deep breaths in this posture. So on your inhale, bring your hands to your side, release them from your grip and slowly bring yourself back up to center, lean over your left side to bring your right knee out. And remember, we're going to take our fingertips and just tap our legs coming upwards to allow blood flow and energy to just really reach and heal our legs from that posture and maybe rub the legs up and down really feeling the benefits of that compression. So for our next pose, we're going to move our pillow or bolster off to the side and take our blanket or our beach towel still folded over and we're going to come onto our bellies. So what we're going to do 
is our towel is going to be just above our hip, center of our navel for Sphinx pose. So what we're going to do is our hands are out at the top of our mat, or you don't need to have a mat. Legs are out, shoulders hip width distance, and we're slightly up, so we're going to inhale, gently compressing our lower spine, and exhale, slowly coming down. Forehead comes to the floor. And again, on your inhale, ground into your fingertips and slowly rise for Sphinx Pose. And as you exhale, slowly bring your forehead down to the mat. One more inhale in our Sphinx. Deep inhale, compressing our lower spine. And exhale, slowly bring your head to the mat. Maybe cross your arms so we're in a square position, bringing our forehead down to our arms. Be sure to keep that three part breath going, breathing into the belly first, feeling it expand and into the center of the chest, up the collarbones, and then exhaling out the chest to the belly. It might feel weird here, but it's all part of the process. Our three part breath helps massage our internal organs, particularly the ones we're working on today to help our digestion along with hormonal balance. So this includes our heart, our pancreas, our stomach, our intestines, our liver, our lungs, and our diaphragm. Allow gravity to pull that belly button down a little bit more. Relax the glutes, the lower back, and the legs. We won't be here for as long. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Few more deep breaths. So on your inhale, slowly use your fingertips to rise up, roll onto your right side, bend your knees, bring your left hand to bring you up to center. We're still going to keep this blanket and towel and return back to our half saddle position. So again, we're going to bring our knees together, ankles just over the towel, except this time we won't be relying on our pillow. So what we're going to do again is extend out your right leg. Keep your left knee bent to the back. If you'd like, since we don't have the bolster, you can bring out that left leg out from under your bum. 
You can also bend that right knee or keep your right leg straight to find your edge. Remember what we're going to do is we're gonna bring our hands just to the sides of us, tuck your chin to the chest and slowly creep back. If you feel called, you can always return to your pillow for some support. But now that we've warmed up our legs, hip flexors and digestion, see if we can come down onto our forearms, palms facing the floor, just for that support and release tension in the neck for a modified fish pose. Again, we'll be here for a few breaths. So remember to deeply inhale and deeply exhale, focusing on that three-part breath, softening any tension in the jaw, in the neck, releasing and surrendering to this present moment. And since we've been practicing this posture for a few deep breaths, maybe you feel called to return all the way to the earth really surrendering to this posture. Again, totally adaptable. If you'd like to bring that pillow behind you for extra support, if you'd like to be on your forearms, palms grounded into the earth, your neck still releasing, find your edge in this pose, in this practice. Soften any tension in your body with the breath. So one more deep inhale, exhale, and slowly tuck your chin, chin to your chest, ground into your palms, into the earth, and slowly bring yourself up, maybe bend into your forearms, wiggle on up, and again, lean over to the right side to bring out that bent left leg, Again, rub your legs up and down with your fingertips. Tap your legs in an upwards motion to bring energy to all sensation in the body. So now we're going to keep that left leg extended, bringing in the right knee, so right ankle over our towel here for support. And again, it's okay if your right knee lifts up when we're leaning back. Tuck your chin to your chest, fingertips rooted on the earth, and slowly lean back. Again, we'll first be down on our forearms, palms into the earth. Maybe our left knee bends, foot fat, flat on the floor, or we can keep that left leg extended out since we're on our forearms with that support, we're just going to let our neck just release any tension we're holding in our jaw and our neck. And we'll be here for a few more deep breaths. You can either grab your pillow for additional support, stay here with your forearms rooted into the earth for support, releasing your neck, or if you'd like, since we've been practicing posture for a few deep breaths, really surrender into the earth, bringing your back to the floor, legs extended. Remember to find your edge.
return to your three part breath. So last inhale, exhale, slowly root your fingertips to the earth, come back onto your forearms for support, tuck your chin to your chest, slowly wiggle yourself side to side, on up, lean over to the left here, bring out your right leg, scooch over your towel, and we'll be coming into our final pose of the practice, which is a twisted rose. So what we're going to do, our legs are extended out straight. Fingertips rooted to the earth. And we're gonna slowly bring our backs down to the mat or to the floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring our knees up to our chest, take our arms out to a T, wrap them around our knees, and give ourselves, our digestion, our soul, a big squeeze, a big hug. Inhale, release your legs out straight and long, arms to a T, slowly bring it down to the floor. We're going to inhale and bring our right knee in. We're going to bend that left knee, foot on the floor. We're going to extend that right leg straight up, bend it over that left knee, lift our hips up to go over to the right, and then bend our knees to the left, bringing our neck and head facing the right over our right shoulder. Really breathe into this posture. And again, you can use your blankets, or pillows above your knee if you feel like you need that extra support. Remember to focus on your breath. Again, see if you can inhale through the belly, the chest, and the head, and then exhale from the head down the chest to the belly. Really engaging all our internal organs, working through our endocrine system, our adrenal glands, literally balancing our hormones. So we're gonna inhale to slowly bring our knees to the center, bring our neck back facing the sky. We're going to bring that right knee up, bend the right knee to the floor. We're going to collapse our knees in towards each other and just take a deep breath in and exhale out through the mouth. 
Now let's balance out the other side. So we're going to extend our right leg up to the, or left leg up to the sky, sorry. Left leg up to the sky, right knee bent, foot to the floor. We're going to bring that extended left leg that's in the sky over that right knee, bending it. We're going to lift our hips a little bit over to the left and bring our cross legs down to the right this time, balancing out our spine. And then we're going to bring our head and neck facing over our left shoulder. And remember, you can use your blanket or pillow for additional support if you want that under your knees. Really breathe into your spine here, feeling all the benefits of this compression. Remember to return to your three-part breath. A few more deep breaths in this posture. Inhale, we're going to slowly lift our knees back up to center, bring our neck, head facing towards the sky. And remember, collapse our knees in towards each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our fingertips down under our belly button and really press our fingertips under our belly button, giving our digestive system a slight nourishing massage. So we're taking our fingertips and just sliding it left and right. With the right finger, we're sliding under our belly button to the right. With our left fingertips, we're sliding under our belly button to the left. Maybe try up and down. Again, giving yourself a nourishing digestive massage. And for these final few moments of this practice, you can keep your knees folded in towards each other, or we can extend our legs straight out. If you feel safe, close your eyes and allow yourself to surrender for our final pose, corpse pose, Shavasana, for these last few moments to really integrate all the benefits of the practice. You can release your three-part breath, find your normal breathing, and see if you can connect deep within your body. Palms can either be facing the floor or up to the sky. I'll slowly call you back when it's time to return. Focus on your inhale and exhale. Be in this present moment for a few more breaths. Slowly return to your body. So maybe wiggle your toes, your fingertips, feeling all the sensation 
from tonight's practice. And what we're going to do is we're going to slightly bend the knees and roll on over to our right. Bring our palms to the floor and let's slowly bring ourselves up. Feet crossing, shins can be in forward in front of the other, or legs can be crossed like this. Inhale, we're gonna reach our arms, send it overhead, big inhale. Exhale, bring your palms to touch in front of our center. Our, the light in me honors the light in you. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's practice. I hope you feel all the rejuvenating benefits and I hope you feel relaxed. Thank you so much and namaste.